Radionuclide therapy really came to the forefront in the mid 2010s after the approval of lutetium dotate therapy, which changed the way we treat patients with neuroendocrine tumor. These treatments which bring radiation into the tumor cells to kill tumor cells has really changed the way we approach the treatment of patients with metastatic disease, both in neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancer. So although we are both improving survival, so longevity, and improving quality of life, particularly pain, eventually uh, tumor is coming back. And this is occurring in everyone uh, after a defined period of time, which is quite variable, on average within around six months. The, the therapies that are predominantly used at the moment are, are beta-emitting atoms. Uh, beta emissions are really quite low energy particles, whereas something like an alpha particle deposits an enormous amount of energy into that cancer cell. If we can effectively leverage the potential improvement in energy deposition and efficacy of alpha-targeted radioligand therapy, we can improve patient outcomes and increase the response to these radioligand therapies, which have already revolutionized the treatment of patients with both neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancer. The major challenge with target alpha therapies is production of the isotopes themselves. The quantity of alpha isotopes produced in the world today is only enough to treat a few thousand patients. That's nowhere near enough. Advancel was founded to solve this problem. Advancel was founded in Australia in 2019 uh, by a group of individuals who were all extremely excited about the, the promise of targeted alpha therapies, all of whom wanted to dedicate their lives to actually rolling out these therapies to make a massive impact on cancer. When Advanced Health was founded, um, we, we wanted to be a targeted alpha therapy company. We, we were fairly agnostic to, to the isotope. When you look at the periodic table, it really starts to become clear that LED-212 has the ideal set of physical characteristics for a targeted radionuclide therapy. LED-212 is an attractive alternative to actinium-225. It has fewer daughters, and therefore the radiation is likely more localized to the cancer. It has a shorter half-life, and potentially it can be more easily produced. Currently, Advancel is operating in multiple sites around Australia. We have facilities in, in Brisbane, in Sydney, in Melbourne, uh, in Adelaide. We came up with this solution to make a, a very high yielding, very stable generator that would last a very, very long time and produce LED-212 reliably every day. And so it's, it's a case of just making that generator larger, more activity, uh, and, and we will do it over the next few years. That really puts us in a unique position to drive a pipeline of therapeutics for multiple cancers. There is a lot that we don't understand about how this type of treatment works. There's a lot we don't understand about the mechanism of action of these therapies. Uh, and so we are actively engaged with researchers all over the world uh, to, to solve these problems. Australia is a fantastic environment to run first in human studies, given the maturity of radioligand therapies in Australia. So we have a clinician group across the country. Uh, we have technologists, physicists, radiopharmaceutical chemists, and other radiopharmaceutical scientists uh, who are incredibly experienced and knowledgeable in radioligand therapies. So our first in human phase one study is currently underway in Australia. We expect to roll our later stage studies out across the globe as we look towards uh, registering our product with the FDA. We've been collaborating with Advanced Cell as part of a $10 million US Prostate Cancer Foundation tactical grant to a collaboration or a consortia of ourselves at the Peter McCallum Cancer Center, together with UCSF, UCLA, and Essen in Germany, centered around using uh, this novel LED212 platform from Advanced Cell. This grant is largely a translational grant so to try to work out uh, the best way to deliver these treatments and differences between alpha and uh, beta treatments. But we're also hoping to do some early phase in human trials and look where do they go? Uh, is the biodistribution as uh, suitable for a next generation therapeutic? At UCSF, we've been interested in running clinical trials using actinium-225 labeled radionuclide therapies to treat patients with prostate cancer. But due to the limited availability of actinium in the United States, we're excited to collaborate with companies such as Advanced Cell to use LED-212 in open clinical trials to treat patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. The future for Advanced Cell uh, involves 
uh, progressing our clinical trials and expanding our manufacturing platform, not only in Australia, which is so well suited to these uh, earlier stage trials, uh, but also then in the US um, for, for later stage trials and large scale manufacturing. Uh, we have a pipeline of therapies. Our most advanced is our prostate cancer agent, but we are extremely excited about progressing these other molecules for other hard to treat cancers, which are currently completely underserved, like metastatic melanoma and pancreatic cancer and colorectal cancer. Targeted alpha therapies are the next step. This, this is how radionuclide therapy evolves. Changing the way we treat cancer with, with, with targeted alpha therapies is the, the most exciting thing I've, I've ever been involved in.